My background was in swimming. When I was a kid, since eight or nine, I always swam, and I belonged to a club. There was the Olympic Games in Rome, and I was carded fairly high, and I was trying to qualify for the Olympics, and I just barely missed it, I think. So I never made it to the Olympics, and that was in 1964. In 1968, I would be 20. You know, about, about the age of 18, I stopped swimming, and you know, you, you lose your, you know, your, your prime, and uh, so I couldn't make it to the next Olympics anymore or qualify, and the dream was over, right? No more Olympics, no more competition. The World Masters Games to me is the dream of being able to compete at an Olympic level, at my age level. Meaning that, it, you know, when I'm not, I'm way past my prime, and yet I can compete at the best that I can do for this age. I think that is an incredible honor. It's an amazing feat. I moved to Canada, and I found out you could compete, not in swimming yet as masters, but in running, there was all kinds of road races, not really track, but road races where you could enter and race against other people of the same level. So I started running on the road. <laughs> and I realized this is my dream come true, because not only will I do these games, but every consequent games, I can do them at five year intervals, and I get older and I can still compete against people of my own age. So I thought that was great, I can compete forever. <laughs> which I am doing, by the way, yes. If there were no uh, Masters Games, I could never do that. I could run on my own, I could do whatever, but I couldn't run the 800 meters on the track with a crowd backing me up and try to do the best I can. I had to wave because I felt that it I had to thank them, right? I mean, I probably got a lot of the applause than the rest of the field. <laughs> so that's, that was great. I feel really good about it. You guys didn't wait for me. <laughs> in Denmark, I won a bronze in the 800 meters. And it was semi-sweet, in fact, because I came from behind. And there was this fellow who was sure he was going to get the bronze, and I just buzzed by him just at the finish line and I think the guy was disappointed but hey <laughs> that's the way it goes it, it's amazing the people you meet the friends you make and the camaraderie and it's it, it's great great feeling and you feel younger no matter what Toronto uh, Aarhus Denmark uh, Brisbane Australia uh, Portland Oregon US Melbourne, Australia, uh, Edmonton, Canada, and then uh, Sydney, Australia. Name them all. And the next one, Torino, Italy. And I'll be there. <laughs>